Good afternoon, everyone. So today you'll be watching me on a laptop, tablet, possibly a smartphone. The amount of digital devices present in our day to day lives is astounding. And in 2014, statistics showed that the number of mobile devices in use exceeded the world's population. The image on the left shows some examples of some devices. Think how many are in your home right now. Games consoles, smart fridges, ring doorbells, smart watches. Alexa, even the car sat on your drive is likely to have digital technology embedded. So what is digital forensics? In very simplistic terms, it's the application of scientific principles to the process of discovering information from a digital device or medium like those I've just mentioned. What we don't tend to think about is how digital devices are witness to our every move. They monitor us, can track our movements and behavior. They contain vital information, which can be used to identify and prosecute suspects in major crime investigations, such as those of rape, murder, and kidnap. Time is of the essence in these investigations, and very often digital forensics is key. However, there's still a lack of understanding about what digital forensics experts actually do. So if I draw your attention to the picture on the right, well, why is this relevant, you may think? Well, the head of a digital forensics unit recently said to me that an officer investigating a major crime may often ask for a full digital download of a phone. Now, on a one terabyte phone, if you printed its full contents off, that paper would stretch to the height of the Eiffel Tower. There is so much information which will not be relevant to that case. Photos, folders of ringtones, apps which aren't used. So to give that police officer a full digital download would be like asking him to drink through a fire hose. It's information overload, impossible to analyse efficiently or quickly, and totally overwhelming. By a police officer having little understanding of digital forensics, they're unsure what to request from a digital forensics department, and it can result in them literally drowning in information. Now, I'd like you to think for just a moment that you're a suspect or a victim of a crime and are being asked to hand over your phone to the police and they will see everything on it. How comfortable would you feel about that? Do you think it's right? There are many more challenges for the field of digital forensics and my research explores these challenges further and seeks to improve understanding by following the journey of digital data from crime scene through to court through observations and interviews with detectives and digital experts who investigate major crime. There is currently no research which follows the entire journey of digital data through the criminal justice system. In essence, by increasing understanding of the field, I hope to help turn down the fire hose by improving processes and practices for practitioners and also ensuring ethical obligations related to victims and suspects are sufficiently addressed. Thank you for listening to me. Any questions?